So what I'd like you to really concentrate on uh, watching this video is how you could apply these types of things to games, maybe where you've seen them in games that you've played. And also it's just the idea of manual navigation and automatic navigation. So manual navigation, I've already got coded. So if I press play, you'll see me controlling coded with the arrow keys. I've already done that code so I can move them around. So that's manual navigation because it's a player. So it's manual, so the player is, is, is navigating Kodu around the world. So the other type of navigation is automatic, and you will have seen the, this type of thing in games before. So I'm going to code uh, the rover to begin with. I'm going to click the object tools, right click on rover, and program it. And I don't need the when command, I just need do. So I'd like him to move, and I want him to wander. Um, and I'll just do that slowly. Okay, so he's going to wander around. So you may have seen that happen in games before where characters or enemies are wandering around and they can become, you know, um, an obstacle or, you know, that they get in the way of you. So he's wandering around. Um, he's just bumped into the wall there, but he does follow the code. Let me just play it again, see if he does something different. So, yeah, he's got a slightly different route. You can see there he's still getting stuck. So that's the type of thing that, that you might have to change in your code. But you can see the idea that he's got the code that is just making him um, wander in different directions. So you can see it there. Okay. So that's one type of automatic navigation. He's automatically wandering around. The next one, back to the object tools. We're going to right click the fish and program him that when he sees Kodu, so when C Kodu, do move towards. I'm going to do that slowly, 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 so it's not too fast. So again, in the game, you'll have that kind of thing happen um, in many different games. If an enemy sees you, they'll come running towards you, and then you might have to um, escape. So let's see what happens this time. If I press play, the fish is coming straight for me. We've got the rover wandering around, and I'm just trying to get away from the fish um, because it's going to chase me around as long as it can see me. If I got behind an obstacle, then it wouldn't be able to see me anymore. Okay, so press escape. So that's two types of um, automatic navigation that you're going to be asked to use in a lesson. The last one uses a path. This is the pathing tool down here. And then I can start to click in the world, and you can change the color of it. If I use the arrow, if I hover over the the um, sphere that I've just put in the world, and I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to change the color of the path. And I'm going to use a red one. Then I can just stretch the path out, keep clicking. Every time I click, it places down a sphere, and this is a path that I'm going to ask the um, bike to go around. And at the end of the path, it's really important that you hover over the first one and double click it because that it joins up. Otherwise, it it won't join up and it won't work properly. So that's all joined up. So then I need to code the bike. So back to the object tools, right click, and I program him, and he's going to do move on path, and then you choose the color path, so a red path. So again, I'm sure you've played games where enemies do the same thing. So every time you know you play the same level, there's an enemy in the, in the same position, and they're walking around the same area, so they're on a path. Okay. Um, now you can combine that when they then see Kodu, they come off the path. Okay, so you might want to think about that in lesson, but let's just see this work anyway. So yeah, you've got the fish chasing Kodu. You've got the bike going around the path now. You become an obstacle in the game and you've got the uh, rover wandering around. Okay, so just the last thing then, if I wanted to do that, program so he's going to move on the path all the time but you could also say when he sees Kodu move or do do move towards okay then when he doesn't see Kodu he'll just go straight back onto the path again the red path so you've got both things happening okay so I won't run that because he'll just come straight towards Kodu because I can't hide in the world that I'm in. But anyway, that's automatic navigation. You've got three methods that will help you answer some questions. Um, and don't forget manual navigation was Kodu. Uh, that's manual navigation 